Psalm 98 says, sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. Has he done any marvelous things for you this week? Even this morning, has he done marvelous things? Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. We serve a God who is worthy to be praised, and it is so wonderful to have the opportunity to sing unto the Lord a new song, for he indeed has done marvelous things. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Father. We magnify you and lift you up, for certainly you are worthy of our praises. We serve a marvelous God who has done marvelous things. Good morning, Brentwood Church family. Today is a great day to praise the Lord. Wouldn't you agree? Our hymn for this morning is Just As I Am. We serve the kind of God where we can come just as we are. We don't have to put on any big facades, emotions. We can come just as we are. So this morning, by the time we get to the close of service, if anyone has made that decision that you need to come, you are so welcome to come. Amen. Let's sing this hymn of praise this morning. The words are found on the sheet that you were given when you came in.
we prepare for our communion this morning on the lavender sheet under communion response will be led in that by our own Deacon Perry Jordan. Communion response. This is the table of the heavenly feast, the joyful celebration of the people of God. Jesus said, I am the bread of life. All who come to me shall not hunger, and all who believe in me shall never be thirsty. We are all invited to share in this sacred meal of celebration and be strengthened by the presence of God in this place. May we bow our heads. Our Father, how we thank you for yet another opportunity to partake of this Holy Communion, this Lord's Supper that we can, with our eyes of faith, look back to Calvary and see afresh our Savior hanging on the cross, the blood coming down his forehead, from his hands, from his side, from his feet, as he paid the price for all of our sins. Thank you, Lord. And then, oh God, he did not just stop there, but on the third day morning, rose for our salvation. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Enable us to demonstrate the same love that you showed for us on Calvary to others in our church, in our community, in our families, help us to demonstrate that same type of love that you gave, the best that you had. We ask it all in Jesus' name. Amen.
this that symbolizes the body of our Lord that was broken for us, eat. This that symbolizes his blood that was shed for us for the remission of our sins, drink ye all of it. And all the people said, month of November. We celebrate Thanksgiving. Anybody in here just thankful this morning, even before we get down to Thanksgiving, are you thankful this morning? Help us sing this little song. It says, Lord, I thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I just thank you all the day of my life. Oh, Lord, I thank you, thank you, thank you. I thank you, thank you, thank you. I just thank you all of the day. Oh, Lord, I thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, I do. I thank you, thank you, thank you. I just thank you all the day of my life. Oh, Lord, I thank you, thank you, thank you. I thank you. Yeah, I just thank you all of the day. was sick, Lord, you healed me. When I was sick, Lord, you healed me. When I was sick, Lord, you healed me. And I just thank you all for the day. Oh, Lord, I thank you, thank you, thank you. I thank you, thank you, thank you. I just thank you all for the day. Oh. 
God. You want to work. You want to walk. You want to pray so God can use you. Anybody in here want to be used by God this morning? Come on, get on those feet and put those hands together. If you're going to live so God can use you. Come on, let's put them together. to welcome our first-time visitors. Anybody visiting Brentwood Baptist Church for the very first time, would you stand so that we may acknowledge you? Welcome, welcome. Well, we welcome you to Brentwood Baptist Church where Christ is. I know that's right. The ushers will uh, give you an envelope. When you get that envelope, you may be seated. We ask that you fill it out and place it in the offering plate as it passes by, and you will hear from us in the near future. Amen? Amen. Now, those sitting next to them, would you please extend a warm Brentwood welcome? Now, we're not going to move. We're not going to move because it's first Sunday. I just want you to just look to the left or right and say good morning. Amen.
Did you get a smile when they spoke to you this morning? And she said, no, she did not get a smile. Don't treat her like that. Might be the only one you get today, amen? Amen. It is now time for our tithes and offering. For our visitors, we pass the place twice here at Brentwood. The first time is for missions. That's everything we do outside the walls of the church. And then the second time is for tithes and offering. You will find the offertory reading on the handout you got this morning. And let's read together. Lord, I thank you today for the ability and willingness to offer you my time, my talent, and my tenth. I dare not come into your house empty-handed. I am standing on the promises of God. Amen. Good morning. Thank God for another day to praise his holy name because he is worthy to be praised. Amen. We come this morning to thank each of you for wearing your purple because November, as you know, is Alzheimer's Awareness Month. And today we acknowledge all of those who were praised in purple. Though Alzheimer's disease is the sixth leading cause of Americans' death in America, it is the fourth leading cause of death among us, African Americans. African Americans are two to three times more likely to develop Alzheimer's disease than their counterpart. Today, they are representative on the carport side of the building, we ask you to stop by that table and learn more about Alzheimer's disease as it affects us so much. You may not need it, but you can pass that information on to others who are struggling. And I just have a, a number of people who are in the Alzheimer's ministry, but I'm gonna ask our leader, Beverly Donaldson, to please stand, amen. She leads in this ministry. And so she will be at that table if you need further information after today. See her. Uh, join us for our midweek worship this Wednesday at 7 p.m. in the sanctuary. Reverend Barbara Thomas will be preaching for us. Amen. And the church choir will be singing. We invite you to join us in prayer this Saturday from 8 a.m. to 9 a.m in the sanctuary. Dr. Ford will be leading us and our focus is mental health, generational curses, and family secrets. Amen. Come out. Children's Bible Camp begins next Sunday. We're asking parents to bring their pre-K through fifth grade students to the LLC at 10 a.m. They will learn the books of the Bible, and scriptures and participate in Bible lessons. Bible camp will be held every third and fourth Sunday. Please make sure, sure that your children have a Bible when they come to Bible camp. Amen? Amen. We want to, oh, Mrs. Radliff stepped out, but we want to applaud her in her celebration of a birthday on November the 2nd. Amen. Today also, Sister Pauline Cephas' birthday. Amen. Stand up, Pauline. Her family is worshiping with us this morning. She is 83 years young. Amen. Amen. Thank you, family, for helping her and keeping her young and vibrant. Amen. Fred and uh, Vera Langham, they're celebrating, staying 44, 44 years of marriage. He's in the choir stand. Amen. We, we rejoice with all of that. Amen. The wedding music. We uh, celebrate and rejoice with all of those things that's going on in the life as we also pray 
and encourage those who experience death. If you look at your information sheet, you will see names on there today. But just this morning, another soldier went home to be with the Lord. Edgar Taylor. He is the brother of Roy Taylor. Please keep them in your prayer. All funeral arrangements are pending. Thank you.
What a beautiful day this is, and we welcome each of you to worship this morning. For God is good, and all the time, we are delighted this morning to welcome to our worship Lorenzo Pace, who is a sculptor and cousin to uh, Art Fuller. He is, uh, his art piece is there in New York at the Triumph of the Human Spirit which is a tremendous piece uh, devoted to uh, the, the, the bodies of uh, ancestors there in lower Manhattan. Would you stand for Lorenzo Pace, would you? Let's give him a big Brentwood welcome, would you? <laughs> tremendous artwork. Thank you. Also, you were handed when you walked in a, a card. It's, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It was, it was the end of the year rally. It's the end of the year rally. Uh, I want you to fill that out. I want you to fill that out uh, the third Sunday. I need you to help us to uh, close out the year in the black. We are excited. Uh, our budget is good, uh, strong. You're pretty much on target, but we're trying to ensure the fact that we are going to do that. Uh, we don't compete well against Santa Claus. <laughs> we don't do well in December. So I, I, I want you to make sure, and as many of you who can uh, join me, I'm going to give $1,000 or more. And this is above your tithes and offering. But on the third Sunday, I want you to give this to us. If you will, fill this out. Some of you will not be paying attention to my sermon. So fill out, <laughs> fill this out. Fill this out during the sermon, and uh, at the end of the service, we'll collect these uh, pledges. This is a pledge card. This is a pledge card, not your gift, but this is the pledge card. I, I, I want to get a feel for what you can do. You, you, you know pretty much now what you can do, $100, $250, $500, or 1000 I will give $1,000, uh, and I hope you will join us, uh, and this will help us to do that. And uh, I think I go, this Jeff stepped out, I think, but, but I think I go, wait, 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 we need $300,000. That ain't nothing for this church. And uh, amen. <laughs> that ain't nothing for this church. And uh, so I hope that you will, on a serious note, I hope you will join me in doing this and fill out that card on a serious note. Um, ushers, I'm going to ask that you, uh, I'll, 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 I'll take a moment before we close, close. What is that? I'm going to need another 10000 to correct that. <laughs> For real, what is that? Y'all corrected that already? Okay. All right. Good enough. All right. That's been corrected. Okay. All right. So fill that out. And, and, and at the end of the service, we're going to just ask you to pass them down at the, uh, at the end of the pew and then the ushers will collect that. Okay? But uh, everybody, not equal giving, but equal sacrifice. Amen? And uh, the third Sunday, that's the third Sunday. I want you to uh, give that as much as you can uh, and, and just put on your envelope rally. 
and that way we'll designate that, okay? All right, good enough. All right, here's the sermon, and be ready to go home. Amen. How about those Astros? Amen. The 22nd chapter of Genesis. The 22nd chapter of Genesis. And it came to pass after these things that God did tempt Abraham and said unto him, Abraham, and he said, Behold, here am I. And he said, Take now thy son, thine only son, Isaac, whom thou lovest, and get thee unto the land of Moriah, and offer him there for a burnt offering upon one of the mountains which I will tell thee of. And Abraham rose up early in the morning and saddled his ass and took two of his young men with him and Isaac his son and clave the wood for the burnt offering and rose up and went unto the place of which God had told him. Then on the third day Abraham lifted up his eyes and saw the place afar off. And Abraham said unto his young men, Abide ye here with the ass, and I and the lad will go yonder and worship and come again to you. And Abraham took the wood of the burnt offering and laid it upon Isaac his son. And he took the fire in his hand and the knife, and they went both of them together. And Isaac spoke unto Abraham his father and said, My father, and he said, Here am I, my son. And he said, Behold the fire and the wood, but where is the lamb for a burnt offering? And Abraham said, My son, God will provide himself a lamb for a burnt offering. So they went both of them together. And they came to the place which God had told him of. And Abraham built an altar there and laid the wood in order and bound Isaac his son and laid him on the altar upon the wood. And Abraham stretched forth his hand and took the knife to slay his son. And the angel of the Lord called unto him out of heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham. And he said, here am I. And he said, Lay not thine hand upon the lad, neither do thou anything unto him. For now I know that thou fearest God, seeing thou hast not withheld thy son, thine only son, from me. And Abraham lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, behind him a ram caught in a thicket by his horns. And Abraham went and took the ram and offered him up for a burnt offering in the stead of his son. And Abraham called the name of that place Jehovah Jireh, as it is said to this day, in the mount of the Lord it shall be seen. What a dramatic story. Every time I read it, I'm inspired. For here, God tests Abraham's faith. But it's not a test to trick him or to trip him up. It's a test, if you will, to see how deeply he will obey him. When God tests us, it is not to trick us. It's not to trip us up. But it's to see how deeply we are willing 
to obey him. And the story goes that Abraham his only begotten son he and Sarah Sarah 90 years old Abraham 100 years old finally gets their wish and he finally gets his only begotten Son. His promise. God keeps his promise. You remember, you remember, the angel comes to them and, and Sarah laughs. Isaac is translated as laughter because Sarah laughs, says, Now I'm 90 years old. You must be joking. And sure enough, Isaac, my God, is born. And now, chapter 22, oh my goodness. God comes to him and says, take Isaac and make him a sacrifice. Here's this old man who's probably been very proud of the fact that he's <laughs> my son, my son. And now God tests him. Go to a mountain and I'll tell you. Well, he's in Bathsheba, Moriah. 50 miles, three days, it takes the old man to get there. And they travel. He gets two lads to help them. And he gets to a certain point. We talk about Abraham's faith now. And he tells them, y'all stop here. Two lads, y'all keep the ass with y'all. And, and, and we're going to go up the mountain here. And we'll be back. I, 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 I researched it. I, 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 it, it, there, there is a reference, and it, it needs to be noted here, that Abraham's faith is so strong because, ah, In the early verses, it tells him, take your son and make him a sacrifice. But then he tells the boys, we shall return. I mean, not only is it faith, but it is indicative of him must believing that God's going to raise him from the dead. That I'm going to sacrifice him. But if I'm going to, we're going to be back. I got stuck there. I got stuck there. What kind of faith must this man have? <laughs> to tell them boys, y'all chill, but we're going to go up there, but. We'll be back. I'm going to do what God told me to do. I'm going to sacrifice my son. But we'll be back. Okay. So they go up there. On the way up, the lad is discerning. The lad says, hey, pops, uh, <laughs> I don't want I don't want to be disrespectful, but uh we got we got everything. 
Accept the sacrifice. And here comes Abraham again. The old man speaks with authority. God will As he continues to walk, and then he builds the altar. And the book says he binds his son. By this time, the son has figured this out. If he's bound him and put him on the altar. And he raises his knife, Abraham does. Oh my God. Can't you see it? Just as he raises the knife, an angel stops him. I, I, I think that the test of faith is not so much whether you execute, or whether or not you will obey. Will you go through the motions to do what God tells you to do? Will you lay on the altar what you love most? you love it more than you love God? We have altar call three out of four Sundays and I see you come down here. I see the deacons waiting to pray. I see choir tuning up some prayerful tune. But what you bring down here is some sort of inconvenience, some frustration, some itch that you can't scratch. Some annoyance. Inconvenience. Seldom do you bring something that you love and lay on the altar. <sighs> and say, God, I don't know what else to do. I don't know. I don't know I can do. I, I, I love it. Abraham, his only begotten, his pride and joy, his 
trophy of his old age. And he said, Lord, if you want me to sacrifice him, What is it that you're carrying this morning that, that you dare lay on the altar? Something you don't think you can live without. Something you take so much pride in that. You might love more than God. And he built the altar. God had spoken against such sacrifices in Deuteronomy and Leviticus because pagans had done it. I want to see if you can match the pagans. I want to see if you can outdo the pagans. And too many of us in church, we ain't doing nothing sacrificial to God that the pagans don't do. Asking God for help with your bills. Asking God for help for the debt. Ah, ah, Lord, I want to give you something that I have reserved special in my heart. Maybe it's my child. Maybe it's my pain. Maybe it's a family member. Maybe it's, I don't even talk about it. Maybe it's my abuse. Maybe it's my, maybe, I don't know what it is, but it's, it's something that I need to put on the altar and ask you to do something about and Abraham brought that boy and just as he was getting ready to execute him hallelujah the angel said stop you, you, you've proven your obedience you've proven that you love God. You've proven that. And there was the highest grade of lamb a ram. And there was that little boy's hallelujah. When he asked the question, where's the lamb? And Abraham says, God will provide. I don't know about you, but it may be an illness. It may be something that you haven't told anybody about. That's what makes spirituality so real. No form and fashion. No outside show. That's what black folk did when they came to church. They weren't shouting because the beat was good. They weren't shouting because the preacher could hoop or tune up. They shouted 
because they would just, hallelujah, within their spirit declare up above my head. I hear music. There must be a God somewhere. And then in another corner, somebody over there would holler and they'd say, nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Nobody but Jesus. But I'm so glad that trouble Don't last. And then in the mother's corner, a mother that couldn't sing would just say, if I couldn't say a word. I just wave my hand. Church. As I read that text, I thought about it. Lord, what is it that I need to lay on the altar? What is it that I love more? Sometimes more than you. And I came this morning to lay on the altar. shall have no other gods Lord I confess before your people that some days I've lost focus I've I, I, I've loved these more than you. I've lost sight of who is the author and finisher of our faith. You have to get to a point of private confession and revelation to be able to confess like Abraham that God will provide. God will give you what you need when you need it. Revealed to you ah, when you dare go that way to the altar. There's a hymn, Is Your All on the Altar? 
of sacrifice me. Is your heart, spirit, control? You can only be blessed and have peace and sweet rest as you yield him. Oh, boy. When I read that text, I said, Lord, I, ah, I don't want to preach this. But I want to tell y'all something. It frees you when you're able to put it on the altar. I risk transparency with you, but you ain't got to be transparent with us. Because you've been carrying some stuff. Yeah. And that's the reason why you can't really shout. That's why you really can't run. Can't cry. How many times have you left said, oh, I felt like running Sunday. I, I felt like crying. Lord, they sung one more verse. I would have been. That's because you are carrying too much. But when the Lord and I got through talking, hallelujah. And I said, Lord, you know what? This is your church. These are your people. That just freed me. Wow. Woo. Lord, you know I'm crazy. Lord. You know, you know, you know, Lord. You call me, you know. I'm a real nigga. Lord, you know. I'm trying to help somebody this morning. Because, see, the reason why some of y'all can't get good religion because you ain't laid your burdens down. And when you lay your burdens down, God can use you. Use you in your home. You'll be a better husband, a better wife. Present your bodies as living sacrifices. Holy, acceptable. You'll feel better. So much better. When you lay your burdens down. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Satan, you a liar. Satan, I rebuke you right now. 
Because some of y'all are sitting here right now resisting. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, move. I feel the chains falling. I feel them. I, I feel God moving in this room because if you dare obey him, If you lay on the altar, you ain't got to tell nobody. But Abraham said, God will. Jehovah Jireh. What you're scared of losing, God will. Provide. God will. Provide. God will provide. Find that hymn and just play it. Because the Holy Ghost get ready to do something when we get ready to go home. But we at the altar call right now. We at the altar call right now. Is you all on the altar? Nobody ain't got to sing it. I just want you to play it. The Holy Spirit is breaking chains, shackles. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, he's already breaking chains over there. He's breaking chains over there. Play it, play it, play it. Everybody pray, 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 pray. Yeah, yeah. Let's give the Lord praise.
yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. 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 God's doing a wonderful thing. You're, you're not by yourself. I want you to just grab hold of the hand of the person next to you, both sides of you. You're not by yourself. Tell them, I'm praying for you. Look at the other person and tell them, I'm praying for you. Now, if you really mean it, turn to the person and tell them, I need you to pray for me. Come on, come on, come on. Father God, right now, in the name of Jesus, the person whose hand I'm holding, loose right now in the name of Jesus. Hey! God provide, 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 provide whatever they need today. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Ho, oh, oh, ho, hallelujah. Hey, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Provide today, Lord. God, we know you can do it. You've done it before. Do it again. Do it again. Don't let anybody leave today without a blessing. Bless us right now, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Hey! We'll give your name the glory. Release that hand. Put those hands together. Thank him, thank him. Hey! Glory, glory, glory. Yeah, yeah. Is you all on the altar? Yeah, yeah. together one more time as we get ready to leave the house of privilege and the house of prayer. All right. Take those hands and fill them cards out. No, nobody move before you fill them cards out. Ushers, ushers, ushers. Come, come down front. Come down front. And I want you to just, I want y'all to 
fill them cars out and pass them down to the end of your pew. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Whatever you can do, whatever you can do, $100, $250, $500, $1,000, and then bring it on the third Sunday. Hallelujah. God will provide. Pass it down to the center aisle. If you're on the outside, pass it to the center. Ushers, you all just come down the center. There you go. Ushers, you're doing good. You're doing good. Collect them. Collect them. Everybody. Ushers, don't move too fast. Don't move too fast. Come, come back, baby. Come back, baby. Uh-uh, baby. You're moving too fast. Come back down there. Negro's still writing. Still writing. Only be blessed. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're doing good. You're doing good. I got the best ushers in the world. You're doing good, ushers. There you go. There you go. There you go. All right, all right. I think we're ready to go. You got them, ushers? Thank you so much. Ushers, you got them? There you go. The diggers are down here with the baskets ready for you to drop them in there. All right, bring them on back down here to the ushers, deacons. We get ready to go. Y'all go collect the choir members back in the choir room. Y'all already got y'all's. All right. Get them in the choir room. Because I know they got some money. Look at them. Y'all look like money. Y'all sing like y'all got money. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Let the church say. Let the church say it. Let the church say it. Everybody say it. Everybody say it. Everybody say it. Don't forget to vote. Don't forget to vote Tuesday. I've already voted, but make sure you vote Tuesday. See you next Sunday. Bye.